I went to the park today and they were doing like free face painting and stuff like my friends were doing it because it's like high school volunteering and look at one of, what one of my friends did this is so cute they're so good at this wait what is this it's a cute mochi Q, Q mochi wow yeah I don't know if this is cute oh free, free grass jelly ice pop wow I think this is new release they got it See, they don't have it out here. They even have dark blood in a case. But like, I also forgot to tell her which version, because I forgot, besides the color baskets, each member has a different version in the corner, and if you're not into K-pop, you won't know. But I wanted Minji, and she got Minji. Okay, hey, so this is the haul section of whatever video this is. So, my friend Nicole came back from Japan and Cambodia and got me a bunch of goodies. First, I love Karomi, so Karomi Flake Seals. I don't know if this is focusing. Here's like all the designs. She got me this, I don't know, this washi tape. And here's like the side, it's so cute. And then these Rulakuma gummies. And then these two postcards from Cambodia. Oh, the Angkor Wat. I learned about this in World History. And then this postcard is from Japan. I saw this small business on Depop. Look at how cute they package it. Oh, that's adorable. Okay. I want to go to like thrift stores and then just make my own clothes. You know what I mean? I think that's so cool. 
So first, I got this bloomer set from, I don't know, she made it out of thrifted bed sheets, but it looks so sick, like I like the shorts. And then it comes with this top, but I'm more into the shorts. I'm just like the top. And then I got this top, which is so gorgeous. It's quite Pinterest-y in my opinion. And that's all I got. Okay, so I've been meaning to buy a compact mirror. So I splurged, okay. And I shouldn't have done this, but you know what? I'm writing college apps, so I got this. I wrote a little note to myself because I love spending my own money, you know what I mean? I wrote unstoppable. Because you know what? I'm unstoppable. It's the compact mirror. It's in the 155 Rouge Noir. Maybe I'll insert like better photo because I don't think, it looks kind of like super dark, but it's like a vampy like red purple. So I had to buy books for an upcoming video. I got them off eBay. Let me know which celebrity you think I'm. Wait a minute. Okay, I thought my dumbass just bought the wrong, like, book, because it's quite thick, and also, like, quite heavy, and then I looked at it, and it's, like, all photos, so I'm like, what? It's two different celebs. This is celeb one, okay? This one, this one, and then this is for celeb two. That's the haul. <laughs> It's like 12 at night, but anyways, all of what I got earlier, I like recorded a whole thing and then deleted and I didn't figure that out before I ate like my whole ass matcha roll. But I got a matcha roll, it's pretty good. And this Pandora's box, Ooh, look at the layers. And the strawberry is like a little heart, that's adorable. Anyways, I'm doing college apps right now. I'm a little stressed, but you know what? It's all good. Matcha boba, matcha cake. But anyways, before I deleted that clip, I was saying how I saw this quote from Alanis Morissette. The quote was like, to whom do I owe the biggest apology to? And it was like, no one's been crueler than I've been to me. And I think that's so true. I feel like low key, like sometimes my parents be saying things and it's like, you don't think I like, I've beaten myself over. Like you're not adding, I don't know. Sometimes it's, but it's like, you don't think I've beaten myself up over this? Some. I don't know, college applications are low-key stressful because it's like, damn, if I don't get a good college, it's like, I did 12 years of work for this. I'd be mad. I feel like I'd be a little mad because it's like, you've done all this stuff and you still don't get in and it's like, oh, gotta try again. But it's like, you've done so much work. I don't know. Also, if you always see me in this shirt, it's because it's my pajamas, okay? Like, if I'm at home, I'm in pajamas. Also, like, I don't have a college counselor, and I feel like all my friends have one, so I just feel not, like, left behind, but, like, kind of, like, clueless. You know what I mean? Like, but it's like, you're on your own, kid. Okay, but, like, on another note, like, just don't be too harsh on yourself, I guess. Because it's, like, sometimes, like, I love my parents and I respect them, you know what I mean? mean it's like and if you love and respect someone you truly value your their opinions no matter like you take into account their opinions no matter what like obviously it's best if you don't give a fuck about anyone's opinion because then this is how you truly live life but in like a more respectful way you'd still account 
of people like you love's opinion like my parents and sometimes they'd be saying stuff that's like so unnecessary and i feel like it's a little unsupportive to me personally i'm just like bro you're not helping like sometimes i'd be just believing everything they say it's it's kind of equivalent to like you are horrible then do i believe that i am horrible like no like so like don't like don't let like people around you like you know say shit like that and eat. like i eat it out every single time because i truly love and respect them but like should i be doing that like i am not horrible you know what i mean like college is a fucking game college is a game it's a game of gambling like i know they just want your money but i just want a job you know what i mean like Hey guys, welcome to Get Ready With Me. Everything's new right now, so like I haven't ripped off any of the tags. Thank you so much. Don't mind my rat's ass, but I got the strawberry swirl. Low key, pretty good. Get this like seven or eight out of ten. It kind of tastes like vanilla soft serve with like just strawberry syrup or like parade. 